All right, this is Brother Aisha Yard coming at you with another lesson. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rekha Kwadash, double honors to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned is true from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Akwath that's listening and learning. Uh, today's video is going to be entitled, You Can't Be a Nigger and Israelite at the Same Time. <laughs> Now, I want to get into this topic because I was on uh, social media. I was on Facebook the other day and um, pretty much, you know, just, just looking at brothers' stories and looking at other stories or whatever. And um, I came across this post from this female that, that's so-called saying that she's in the truth. Now, she might be. I'm not sure. But from what she said on this status really confused me. Okay. Because the way that she was speaking, the way that she presented the post and the responses that she gave me after I, you know, pretty much confronted her about it, it was weird, man. <laughs> you know, so I'm going to let you see it real quick. I'm going to let you see it. Okay. So <laughs> as you see right here, and I'm going to read it, it says, see why Yahweh Shah wants a grown ass real woman. Y'all who <laughs> own a lower level damn stupid bitch <laughs> now <laughs> like i said i'm not making this video to bash or to make fun or anything like that but one of the things that i've learned when i came into this truth man is when you come into this truth you grow within the spirit and you grow as a person okay you leave the way that you used to speak. You leave the way that you used to live. All of the ways, that the things that you used to do, the way that you used to conduct yourself, you leave that shit alone. Because once you come into this truth, you start to understand who you really are. One of the things that makes me really stay away from acting like a nigga, don't get me wrong, you know, I have a Jake spirit and I grew up in this society just like everybody else, right? So, you know, slang, I speak with slang and everything like that. And, you know, hey, you, that Jake spirit upon you. You know, we the salt of the earth. You know, we speak with certain, we speak, we, we speak with flavor. We walk with flavor. We live with flavor. All right. So it is what it is. But at the end of the day, when you come into this truth, you grow on all kinds of levels. Okay. And when you read things like this. This doesn't give me the, the 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 vibe that you're really in the truth, especially as a woman. All right. And like I said, I want to make this because after going through this and commenting back and forth with her or whatever, I'm just like, man, there's other dudes out here, meaning men, there's other men out here. That's the same way, man. I've ran into them. That's that that's the same way that, that speaks like this. Okay? I'm just like, I don't understand this. So it say, see why Yahweh Shah wants a grown ass real woman, y'all who? I don't even know what that means. And then she said, on a lower level. <laughs> she couldn't even say on, man. <laughs> it's supposed to be on a, a lower level, damn stupid bitch. And I'm just like, okay. I, 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 you know, when I saw this post, I'm just like, whatever. I was going to leave it alone. But, you know, as you scroll, you can see like uh, somebody's comment, like the, the the latest comment or whatever, without even clicking on the comment section. And uh, she commented on her own shit. Nobody didn't even say anything. She just left comments on her own shit. So I'm, and she wrote, she wrote, um, "I'm a queen of Yahweh Shai. I'm his wife." I'm like, okay, hold on, man. I'm like, you 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 being weird now. I'm like, you being weird now, man. I'm like, what what is this? I was like, I and I asked her, I told her, I'm like, you know, you post all the GMS videos all the time. I'm like, you know, brothers always say they always go when they when that word queen comes out, it goes back to uh the word queen, which is I believe is Q W E E N, and uh it means prostitute, whore, harley, right? So I'm like, if you watch the videos and you post these GM GMS videos, why are you saying you're the queen of Yahweh Shai and I'm the wife? She said, I'm the wife of Yahweh Shai. I'm Lilith or something like that. And I'm just like, so pretty much you saying you are a whore for the Lord. <laughs> 
you a whore for the Lord. That doesn't make any sense, man. The most high, how about Shimmy Yawasha is looking for clean people, people who's going to be purified, people who's going to try to cleanse himself with this word on a daily basis. Okay? So I, I confronted her about it just to see where her head was at. And she just kept responding weird, man. Like I said, I, I, I screenshotted the conversation so I could show you all, but I'm not even going to that or whatever. You know, it, it's a lot, you know, and everything like that. And I'm just going to tell y'all what it was. And I'm just like, you, you're not making any sense, man. I'm like, first of all, when you read about the scriptures and it talks about, you know, Israel being married to you, how about Shimei was shot? It's talking about Israel as a whole, okay? Saying like, yeah, I'm the wife of Yahweh Shai. And she said, no, it's a spiritual thing or whatever. I'm like, that don't make, I'm like, I'm trying to understand where the spiritual part is coming from. But she kept responding weird like this. <laughs> you know, like I said, when you come into this truth, not only do you understand and start to learn who you really are, but you start to upgrade on things, man. You start to become a better, uh, a better reader, a better writer, a better listener you know, a better teacher, and you become a better example for the people that's not in the truth like you are, man. You, 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 you're on a, you, you're on a level to the point where you have to be an example now, man, of how, of what to be. It's like, I saw a couple of brothers post this thing a few days ago. They was talking about when, um, when a black person, um, um, exposes their intelligence and, you know, and everything like that, it's not called being white. It's just them being smart it's them uh, presenting their wisdom it's them showing people their wisdom it's them showing how people how smart they are and everything like that and that's one of the things that happens when you come into this truth like i said you grow as a person man okay saying shit like this i don't understand <laughs> it's weird to me like i said it was just weird to me especially i'm like why and you know and she said something like uh i don't call any other woman queen i just call myself that I was just like, well, that, that shit still don't make no sense. You know what that word means. You acting like a nigga. Because at the end of the day, what does these females do in this world? They call each other bitches. Ah, oh, what's good, bitch? Yeah, bitch that, bitch this, bitch that, or whatever. You know, man, I'm that bitch. You know, that's what they do. They disrespect themselves on purpose. They know what that word means. They know it means a female dog, right? But they still call themselves that. So when you come into this truth... And you still call yourself a queen, knowing that it means whore, or prostitute. You degrading yourself. You not making any sense, man. So that's why I was like, okay, I don't understand what you're saying. And when I was trying to get a clean answer out of her, you know, she was just being weird. And I, that's why I had to get into this. Um, I just want to make this little mini lesson off of this because I was just like, look, when you come into this truth, you're not supposed to be carrying yourself the way that you used to, man. You know, it's a lot of scriptures that tell you. Sometimes you can just keep your mouth closed, man. You don't have to put yourself on front street all the time. You keep this wisdom to yourself as far as, you know, like I said, being an example of how to be, how to live, and everything like that. Like I said, man, well, I showed my woman that post, and I was just like, fam, I can't even understand what she's saying. <laughs> well, the thing is, you know, with the, that the apostles push, when we come into this truth, man, they always tell you to look up words, right? They tell you to look up words so you can look up meanings of words. Because one of the things that went, that helps you when you look up words is you start to learn the pronunciation of words. You start to learn how to spell certain words, okay? Then, um, you know, they always tell you when you go to certain scriptures, read a few verses above, read a few verses below. That way you get the full meaning of scriptures and everything like that. They're telling you to read, man. Read. Reading helps you out on a whole nother level, man. That 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 upgrades you on a high level, man. Because now you're taking in all these words. You're taking in information and you're growing your brain, man. Okay? Let's start off with this. It's the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 22. Mm -hmm. It says, For wisdom which is the work of all things taught me for in her is an understanding spirit holy one only manifold subtle lively clear undefiled plain not subject to her loving the thing that is good quick which cannot be let it ready to do good Woo. 
cool, kind to man, steadfast, sure, free from care, having all power, overseeing all things, and going through all understanding, pure and most subtle spirits. For wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passes and passes and going through all things by reason of her pureness. For she is the breath of the power of the Most High, and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore can no defiled thing fall into her. For she is the brightness of the everlasting light, the unspotted mirror of the power of the Most High, and the image of his goodness. Look at that, the image of his goodness. So like I said, you have to be an example. When you come into this truth, man, you don't present yourself like that no more, man. You don't post things on social media or you don't say things out of, you know, this out of, out of the blue, out of nowhere for no reason. Okay? You 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 start to do things to the point where you, you know, like I said, you expose your knowledge, man. You expose how humble you are, how patient you are. Okay? Because the wisdom that you receive is plain. It's not subject to her. Loving the thing that is good quick, which cannot be let in, ready to do good. Pure, okay? You grow within this thing. Once you receive this wisdom, man, you start to act differently. You don't you don't mix both worlds together, man. Either you holy or you not. Okay? Let's get first Peter. Um Let's get first Peter five and one. And it says, The elders which are among you I exhort, who am also an elder, and a witness of the sufferings of Yahweh Shai. And also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of the most high which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, neither as being lords of the most high's heritage, but being ensemples to the flock. What does ensemble mean? Let's go get it. Let's go to the blue letter. Let's go to the blue letter. First Peter five and three. This is the Greek word. Strong's G fifty one seventy nine. Tupas. 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 It says the mark of a stroke or blow print a figure formed by a blow or impression a figure or image of the image of the gods form. The teaching which embodies the sum and substance of religion and represents it to the mind, manner of writing, the contents and form of a letter. An example <laughs> in the technical sense, the pattern and conformity to which the thing must be made in an ethical sense, a, dis a dissuasive example, a pattern of warning of ruinous events which serve as admonitions or warnings to others, an example to be imitated. Of men worthy of imitation <laughs> in a doctrinal sense, in a doctrinal sense of a type, i.e., a person or thing prefiguring a future messianic person or thing. So when you come into this truth, you're supposed to be an example to the people that's not. Neither as being lords over the most high's heritage, but being ensembles to the flock, okay? So when you come into this truth and you do things like that, you push yourself on front street, just like a, a few months ago, last year, there was these Israelites or whatever that came out. They had a, a T-shirt that had a, a red T-shirt and they had apocrypha written on front and they had fringes and a blue ribbon at the bottom of the T-shirt and they over here carrying AK-47s, man. It was a family. It's like a, It was like the father... His daughters and his one son or whatever. And they carrying guns. Talking about they getting ready for when this place get ready to go down. That's being a nigga and an Israelite at the same time. But at the end of the day, that's not even being an Israelite. You still being a nigga, man. Because if you're not in this thing fully, you're not an Israelite, man. You're an Israelite by blood, but you're not living as an Israelite. Okay? You can't. You, you, you really put in the work to get t-shirts and put apocrypha on, on the front of it. And then put the ribbons in the, the ribbon and the fringes at the bottom and you carry an AK-47 something about we ready to go to war or whatever the case may be. His daughters look like they couldn't even carry them guns, man. <laughs> you gotta you gotta choose, man. Either you're gonna be in the world or you uh, or you're gonna be out of the world, man. Either you're gonna be in the world or you're gonna be in this world for your how about shimmy I was shy. You can't be both. Saying that you the queen 
of Yahweh Shai. Like I said, that's saying that you're a whore of the Lord, man. You don't, we don't push that word around here. When you see the scriptures, when you read the scriptures, it says, when it's talking about the women, man, they always say princess, princesses. That's what you are, man. You are the princesses of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, okay? You are not, ain't no queen. And to say that you are the wife, I'm, I'm the wife of Yahweh Shai. My name is Lilith. What is, what, what is you talking about? I asked her, I'm like, what do you mean that you are the wife of Yahweh Shai? And she said it's a spiritual thing. She never really answered the damn question. So at the end of the day, man, you're not being an example to the flock. It might be other women that woke up to the truth or whatever. They might come across your post and they might look at this as if it's okay, you know, as if it's okay to live. Oh, well, she's saying this. She's doing that. I guess I can do this and do that or whatever. You got to be examples, man, because at the end of the day, the women that come into this truth, you might have... Um, Run into other women that's in the truth, man. And you all can speak amongst yourself. You're not going out there teaching and everything like that. But you can speak amongst the other women that's in the, in the truth, man. And you all have to build up as as um, as um one just like the men are, man. When we go out there in the highways and the byways, we do these videos. We live our everyday lives and everything like that. We take the rebukes when we go off. We learn from them. We, you know, we we, we uh break bread with other brothers, you know, um. And we do things differently, man. We, we eat better. You know, we, we keep reading so we can get our knowledge up so then we can be presentable. Okay, we tell people what's right. We tell people what's wrong. You know, we we uh we grow within the spirit, man. And the women need to do the same thing. You know, just because y'all not on videos and just because y'all not in the highways and the byways doesn't mean that people on in your everyday life is not looking at you. They're not noticing the things that you do. Because when you come into this truth and you you do things like, yeah, you tell people like, yeah, I'm not celebrating the holidays. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. People, certain people might question that. They're going to ask you why. Hey, and the spirit might come upon you to tell them exactly why. Tell them that you in this truth or whatever. This is why I wrap my hair up. This is why I wear women's clothing now. This is why I'm not a whore anymore. This and so forth and so on, man. You got to be in examples, man. And you watch these videos. Like I said, we we down that word queen all the time, man. That's not something that we push around here. We don't call our women queens. We only call the women that's not the true queens. Okay? Because at the end of the day, you know, the women that's not the true, that's what they are, man. They're whores. You know? And they know that they are. You know, look at this generation of women, man. They they sleep with everybody, man. Point blank, period. And I ain't even going to sugarcoat it, man. They with everybody. They sleep with everybody, man. One night stands, all kind of dates, get into relationships, get out of relationships, cheating on people, so forth and so on, man. It is what it is, man. It's Ephesians 4 and 21. And so be that you have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Yahweh Shai, that you put off concerning the former conversation of the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man, which after the most high has created in righteousness and true holiness. Okay? You put off the former person that you were. You don't live by that anymore, man. You live by the wisdom that you have came across. This is the new, this is the, the renewing of the spirit of your mind, man. You don't speak like that, man. You don't do things the way that you used to do them anymore. Verse 25. Wherefore, put in away lying. Speak every man truth with his neighbor. For we are members one of another. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Meaning, don't let hell come upon you because of certain actions and certain things that you might say. Okay, be circumspect, be humble, and try and 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 try not to be carnal. Okay, verse twenty-seven. Ne neither give place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands a thing which is good that he may have to give to him that needeth. Let no corrupt communication <laughs> proceed out of your mouth. Woo! But that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of the Most High, whereby, whereby you are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tender hearted forgiving one another, even as the Most High for Yahweh Shai's sake have forgiven you. So at the end of the day, when you come into this truth, like I said, it's not just a thing where you just learn that you're an Israelite and then you, that's it. 
the apostles always say this you know they always say this when you come into the truth man you start to do things differently you take care of yourself by the you watch yourself how you eat you know you uh you, you try to be more healthy you try to become more knowledgeable within not just the scriptures but within just reading and doing things period you know uh my brother Sar Sahar said this too. He's like, man, you know, out of nowhere, you know, you you look up the originality of where things came from. You know, you just look things up for no reason. Just so you can gain more knowledge of, of this world, gain more knowledge of where things came from, gain more knowledge of anything that comes to mind. You know? This is not a thing, this is just not a thing where you just learn that you're an Israelite and then that's it. No, you grow, man. You grow, you keep growing, and you take care of yourself. You present yourself like it, we read in First Peter. You be an example, okay? That's what you need to do. You can't be, like I said, you can't be a nigga and an Israelite at the same time. Either you're going to be of the Lord or you're not, man. Point blank, period. Be renewed in the mind, man, and you run with it. So I just wanted to bring that out because, like I said, it was it was just weird to me. <laughs> it's just weird to me or whatever. And, you know, hey, Spirit got on me to bring this out, so it is what it is. So call Halayim. The water, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Well, um, allow me to bring this out. So with that, I'm going to say, call Halayim Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rekha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned is true from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Akwath that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Ratza, I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasharala. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.